In the 17th century, the famous French philosopher Descartes proclaimed, I think, therefore I am. <laughs> well, that was then and this is now because, especially on campus, words to live by these days include, I exist, therefore I am offended. The most recent news peg is the banning of yoga classes at the University of Ottawa due to cultural appropriation. There was an attempt to rebrand yoga as something else, by the way, but a suitable French translation could not be found. Oh, and there were concerns about ableism too, given that students confined to wheelchairs can't exactly pull off downward dog without the help of a bodybuilder and some piano wire. And the U of O takes their isms very, very seriously. A statement by the University Center for Students with Disabilities notes the following, Quote, we also acknowledge that ableism is not a siloed issue, but one that affects a variety of communities and individuals. In working to dismantle ableism, we also work to challenge all forms of oppression, including, but not limited to, heterosexism, cissexism, homophobia, transphobia, biphobia, queerphobia, HIV phobia, sex negativity, fat phobia, femphobia, misogyny, transmisogyny, racism, classism, ableism, xenophobia, sexism, and linguistic discrimination, end quote. By the way, I had to look up some of those words in the dictionary, folks, to find out what they actually mean and how to pronounce them. For example, cissexism, here's the definition, quote, the appeal to norms that enforce the gender binary and gender essentialism, and then used in the oppression of gender variant non-binary and trans identities, end quote. Is that clear? As clear as an azure sky of deepest summer. Say, notice that misogyny makes the list, but not misandry, AKA the hatred of men. Golly, wonder why that particular form of hatred was omitted. I guess there's no such thing as that on campus, at least according to the radical feminists. But if the crux of the matter regarding yoga is cultural appropriation, the question arises, so what? Is cultural appropriation necessarily a bad thing? It's been happening for centuries. Roman mythology is a carbon copy of Greek mythology. Do we ban our children from trick-or-treating because Halloween is a holy day for Wiccans? And if I wanted to open a sushi bar in Toronto, would anyone demand that I stick to burgers and fries for fear of offending Japanese culinarians? Look, I'm of Scottish heritage, you want to wear a kilt? Be my guest. But another question arises. With the U of O yoga ban, have we reached peak outrage? Uh, sadly, I think not. There's just so much trivial stuff to complain about. Sensitive intellectuals seem to be searching for offensiveness these days, even if nobody is complaining and the matter at hand is completely inoffensive. You know, I hearken back a few years ago to a bizarre news story about a Muslim sheik living in Europe who decreed that women shouldn't be allowed to get close to bananas or cucumbers. He was very worried that phallic-shaped foodstuffs would prompt sexual thoughts in women. The unnamed sheik was quoted by El Swasana News saying that if women wish to get these food items, a third party, preferably a male relative, should cut the items into small pieces and serve. By the way, corriget is also on the list of forbidden foods for women. Corriget is a squash that can grow to nearly a meter in length. Uh, that would make even Ron Jeremy blush, I should think. But I wonder what chic bananas has to say about spherical fruit. I say fruits such as mangoes and watermelons are personally offensive to me, a heterosexual male who can think about nothing except big, beautiful breasts upon spotting such food stuff. Why are the likes of Loblaws torturing me by displaying those boob-shaped edibles in full view, not even having the decency to cover up such fruit with brassiers or burkas? I'll tell you this much, though. This is why you'll never catch the menzoid wearing his form-fitting Lululemon yoga pants while traversing the produce section. No, sir. In the meantime, forget about yoga and fruit. I think I'll just tuck into this little tub of fruit-flavored yogurt. Hey, what do you know? more cultural appropriation. There's culture galore in here. Does the University of Ottawa know? For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.